Hey, good afternoon. Today's date is ah, February 5th, 2020. Today I went and filmed uh, my awesome physical therapist, India Davidson at Pivot Physical Therapy uh, because you had a lot of requests for uh, exercises and things that you can do with Huntington's disease to try to beat it back. And so we went through my sort of standard workout today. Uh, and so that's what we did so you can see. Today is Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. And we're gonna go through one of my PT workouts with India, my awesome PT. Yay! To talk about <laughs> sort of, you know, things you can do to help with your hunting tips. Mm -hmm. He's wearing a weighted vest right now, which he wears five days a week, four hours a day. Yes. Um, it's just kind of like a trial to help reduce chorea. But we're going to start with balance. So he's going to do the ankle board first. And this addresses balance, not necessarily chorea. But if you have better balance, then you're less likely to fall from an episode of chorea. And he does forward, back, and side to side. And he does 30 of each. He tries not to hang on, but he obviously uses the pair of bars for safety if he needs them. Some days he uses the vest for these balance activities, and some days he doesn't, because we want to be able to trial it with and without. The goal is to go side to side or front to back and not and control the board. So he's going to do tandem stance next. And this is just with one foot in front of the other. You can also do this walking, but he's going to do it just statically. Thank you. And the reason for this is because it narrows his base of support and challenges him more in his balance. I think we a lot. Mm -hmm. And he's been able to do these for up to 30 seconds at a time. Yeah. And again, all of this is addressing balance, not necessarily Korea. Mike's going to use this yellow ball. <laughs> he's going to take his vest off for this. Um, but what he's going to do is he's going to do a bridge on the ball. So he lays down, puts his legs up on the ball, lifts his butt up. And it's to help with core and lumbar stability and core control. And it just makes it more difficult putting it on a ball as more like dynamic balance and core control. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> And this is also with the hamstring curl, which just works on his strengthening and more core strength. Okay, he's gonna do seated marches with alternating upper and lower extremities on the ball. This is for core control, also lumbar stability, also coordination. Being on the ball makes it harder than being on the table. Alright, so Mike is going to do bird dogs. So it's alternating upper and lower extremity again on hands and knees. And this is again for core and lumbar stability, but also for proprioceptive feedback in this position and coordination. This is the same 
idea, alternating upper and lowers for the coordination and core stability. He does a lot of core stability balance and proprioception for his clean of care. And I think we've done the weighted vest for the bird dogs, Mike, and then we also don't do it. And he also does leg raises, and these are mainly just for general strengthening. But he's doing it with eight pound weights, so that's pretty heavy. So he's doing a plank right now for one minute. He has also done this with his 30 pound weighted vest but right now he's doing it without, which he's probably glad. But this is mainly for core control. <laughs> I do burpees, which everyone knows what they are, but for him, he's going from a standing position and then to a floor position on all fours and back with his legs, so it ties in like core control, coordination, and also just overall like endurance. He does these for glute bead strength, but they also help with balance, core control, everything else. He's doing it from a squatting position, and he just walks sideways. Thank you.